In this example, we will be demonstrating how to create a blank project in the Security Policy Tool XACML Editor. To begin, we will first run Security Policy Tool and select XACML Editor on the right. Next, this window will appear, allowing us to select from a few options to begin creating XACML documents. As I mentioned previously, in this video we will be focusing on a blank project. Let's jump right into the action and select it on the left. After choosing Blank Project, we will be redirected into the editor area. The biggest difference with using the Blank Project option versus the other policy or request options is that Blank Projects do not require any information selection before beginning. However, with those other options I'm referring to, the selected information is then generated automatically to the start of their project. This will become more clear in the upcoming XACML 3.0 and 2.0 policy and request videos. Make sure to keep checking the Info Beyond YouTube page and Security Policy Tool website video tutorial page for our latest videos. In this demonstration, I will recreate a policy set example developed by Oasis. This policy set example is illustrated on pages 41 and 42 in the Oasis XACML 3.0 manual. You can view the full manual at the URL below. To begin, we will first enter a left angle bracket as if we were to begin defining our standard XML document tag. Because this editor provides suggestions when possible, options to create an XACML 3.0 or 2.0 policy or request documents have appeared. Following along with the OASIS example, we will select XACML 3.0 policy. After doing so, this window will appear, having us provide the information for our policy. We will choose Policy Set. We can skip the XML namespace because it is already filled in for us. We will select 1.0 Policy Combining Algorithm Deny Overrides. We will manually enter the Policy Set ID since the value provided in Oasis example is not listed. We will select version 1.0 and then we can skip the max delegation depth because it is not provided in Oasis example. We'll hit add and all this information will populate in the editor. Now we can add a description to our policy. So we can add example policy set. Now let's space out our target and add our any of element. Here you will see security policy tools assistive code completion features work again. It not only provides a list of possible elements to add to our document, but then it also recognizes that since we've selected any of, we also need an all of element. This happens again, but now letting us know that we need a match element for our all of selection. After clicking yes, the match input panel appears. In this window, we will enter our information defined in our match element. We will select 1.0 string equal for our match ID. We will specify string, the attribute value is earn example med schema records. We'll then choose attribute designator. The category is 3.0 attribute category resource. And the attribute ID is 2.0 resource target namespace. Data type is string. We can skip issuer since it is not defined in Oasis example. And lastly, we'll select must be present as false and select add. Now we can see all this information is populated in the text editor. Because I like to keep my XACML organized, I'm going to now select at the top project align text to clean things up. Continuing with this Oasis example, let's add a policy reference next. We can just skip entering in the values for these optional version, latest version, and earliest version boxes and move down to the large value text box below. Here we will add the value provided in the example. Now we will add a policy tag which will result in another window appearing. We can skip the XML and S again and choose our rule combining algorithm 1.0 deny overrides and we will manually enter our policy ID since it is not an available option. Then we will select version 1.0 and again skip max delegation depth and hit add. 
per Oasis example, we will not define anything for target, but we will still need to include it. As you can see, if we were to delete the target, we will receive an error message. We will not define a description for this portion, so we can take it out without causing an error. To finish up this policy set example, we will add three rules. We will start our tag and select rule. The first rule will have an effect to permit, and the rule ID we want for this example is not available. So we will just manually enter it as we've done before. We will continue to do this two more times with slight modification for rule effect and rule ID. After finishing, we can align our text again. In the case that this was a very large document, we may want to use the GUI tree to more easily locate specific content in our document. After completion, we can save our project, then select Export XACML to convert our policy set document into a deployable .xml version. To see the Oasis example created in this video, check out the link in the description below. It will take you directly to their XACML 3.0 manual. Be sure to check out www.securitypolicytool.com and go to the video tutorial page. Look out for other XACML editor videos showing how to create XACML policies and XACML request documents with Security Policy Tool. Thank you.